If students will be returning back to classrooms in the fall, how would you address their safety and health? Busing, transportation, classroom safety, wearing masks, and how would you handle parents who refuse to wear a mask? Also, are children being able to have access to internet? Do we want to make sure that they also have access, every child, not trying to do just most of them? You have the floor. Sure. Um, in regard to having children come back to school, I am extremely adamant about testing continuously our teachers and, if necessary, students in regard to this virus. Um, I, I recently watched the Board of County Commissioners meeting um, where it was, uh, they, they uh, shared with us that we have only tested 2.6% of the entire population in UT County. It's 411,000 people. Um, they're shooting for 3% for the end of August. Um, that is a very small percentage of testing. If we are, if we are going to look at contract, contact tracing and isolating um, and containing this virus. So if we are gonna bring these children back, we must continually test our teachers and students if possible, because a person who is has this virus can go asymptomatic for a minimum of two days and, and sometimes up to five days, you could, you could have the virus in your system and not even have a symptom. And that time is the most contagious part of this virus. So before we do bring eat a single child back, we have got to budget for more testing for our teachers. If our county's not willing to do it, then we as a district have to do this. Um, in addition, um, if we do have students that are off campus, they're going to do virtual um, online learning, especially for our children in poverty. We cannot make them sit in a car or in a hot school bus and, and connect to the internet system. Call Your County was very kind. They offered, they're called air cards. And so with the Chromebook, every child got an air card and they could, no matter where they were, they could work on their online schooling at home, just like a, a student who is not in poverty. We, we have many students who are very privileged in this county who were, were able to home and work on their online schooling every day, log on to Zoom, and we had so many children who did not have that opportunity. We have got to give these children air cards and let them do their work at home, not driving to some parking lot to, sit, to connect to wireless near a school bus. Mrs. Messenger, do you need me to repeat the question for you? If you don't mind. If students will be returning to classrooms in the fall, how would you address their safety and health? Busing, transportation, classroom safety, wearing masks, and how will you handle parents who refuse to wear a mask? And also, are children that do not have access to the internet? Thank you. Uh, it will be one of my children will be one of the children that returns in the fall uh, so I'm more vested in this than um, I could possibly uh, even state um, so this is this is this is a big decision for us and and I really have to commend our superintendent because she has seen this coming and she has been working diligently to create multiple sets of plans because we do not know where we're going to fall um, under the state and um, uh, from the governor, we do not know what those requirements are going to be, what those requests are going to be. And so we need to be prepared. For, and, and the superintendent is working to do that. The superintendent has also worked to buy and purchase um, lots of different equipment and, and uh, supplies that we may need when the school opens, if the schools can open. Once again, that comes down to what phase we're in, and that comes down to what the governor has to say. Um, we, we have to follow those uh, Requirements that is part of our job as a school district in Manatee County. Um, you mentioned internet. Um, it is absolutely true that our students of poverty, this has absolutely been more difficult for them. And the school district of Manatee County was innovative in even being able to offer the internet on the buses that they did. And I agree that may not be the most ideal situation. But it has been so innovative that other school districts are now copying what Manatee County has done because it's reaching 
thousands of students here in Manatee County that would not have had access to internet otherwise. Still, in those areas where we know that that bus system is not um, feasible, we do have personal hotspots that we have given to students. We have entire schools that were given those at the beginning of the school year part of their tech program. So we have those available. And thankfully, the Manatee Community Foundation donated money so that we could have even more Wi-Fi available to our students, especially the ones in poverty and in need. Thank you.